The clickable links on all your YouTube shorts are being banned by YouTube from August 31st, 2023. That means the pinned comment in this YouTube short or any other shorts will no longer be clickable. It also means the clickable link in the shorts description or in the descriptions of any other shorts videos will no longer be clickable. What? Why is YouTube making this change which will affect millions of shorts videos that are already uploaded to YouTube? YouTube says it is making this change to prevent users from being exposed to malware, phishing scams, and other harmful scam-related content. Fortunately, the links in the descriptions and comments of your long-form videos will still be clickable and remain unchanged. In this video, I'll show you a solution to this change and how YouTube is introducing a new and safer way for creators to link their shorts viewers to their other YouTube content. Which kinds of links are clickable? Channel profile links, which I'll mention later. Links placed in long form video comments and descriptions. Links placed in YouTube live chat. Mentions and hashtags in shorts comments and descriptions. YouTube shopping affiliate program links. Shorts green screen and remix attribution links. The only links which are non-clickable are the links in shorts comments and descriptions. Here's a warning from YouTube. You can't create external links that sends users to websites containing featured content that violates YouTube's external links policies. I'll place a link to YouTube's external link policy in the description below this video. Here are the current clickable links that you see on a shorts video. I've got my channel link, Drost Video, the subscribe button. If I tap share, I can share the URL on my social media sites or copy the link. If I tap remix, I can remix the video. Here are some ways to direct viewers from your shorts to other YouTube content. Reply to comments with a short. Tap on the comments. Here's a comment I can reply to. So tap the comment, tap the shorts icon. Now I can read the comment that I wish to reply to. So just tap record. Thanks for this comment. I wish you the best of luck with your YouTube video. Tap the check mark. Now you can preview what you said. When viewers watch your short, they can go back to the original video it's attached to. Once a short's video reply is posted, it'll appear as a reply in the comments. I wonder what the goal of highlighting comments in shorts is. The goal is to provide a way for creators to invite their viewers to participate in their content. Create shorts from your own long form videos. Select one of the videos on your channel, tap the remix button, and you can edit into a short. Use the sound from this video. You can cut the video by using a segment from the video and use a green screen as a background. Keep in mind that the option to edit into a short is only available to you. Tap edit into a short. You can select 15 seconds or tap 15 to select 60 and tap next. Tap the back arrow. Now you can record a short. So tap the record button. I'm recording a short. Tap the check icon. Tap next. Add your title. Select visibility. Then tap upload short. Now you'll notice that if I tap created from Dross video, it redirects to my original long form video. Here's how to cut a segment from any video on YouTube to make into a short. Tap on the video, tap remix. I can use the sound from the video. I can cut it by using a segment from the video or use the video as a background. Tap cut. Here I can use up to five seconds. Tap next. Now I can record a 15 or 60 second shorts video. If I want 60 seconds, tap 15. I'm just gonna add 15, so I'm gonna tap 60. Goes back 15 seconds. Hey, I'm just adding a, another segment to this video. Tap check mark, tap next, add a title, select your visibility, tap upload short. And here's my video. If I tap on cut from park to it redirects me back to the original video. YouTube is introducing a new and safer way for creators to direct shorts viewers to other content on YouTube. When a viewer clicks on the content link in the shorts, it redirects them to the longer form content. Previously, I mentioned channel profile links. Now you can showcase up to 14 links on your channel homepage and the first link will be prominently displayed in the profile section next to the subscribe button. The remaining links will show when the viewer clicks to see more links. Watch this video on the screen right now on how to create channel profile links that will replace the links that have been removed from your channel banner.